Uh, let me go to Suzanne in Texas. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Dan. Um, Merry Christmas and God bless you. Thank you, Suzanne. Um, Same to you. Are, thank you. Um, I'm so excited. My parents and I are uh, going to your conference in April, and we're oh, very great. excited about it. So I hope oh. I get an opportunity to meet you, and um, I know it'll be a great and blessed time. Thank you for putting it together. Oh, you're welcome. Um, my question is, and I'll, I'll hang up and listen after I ask it, but I'm, I'm trying to educate myself, and, and I'm wondering what things that you look for in particular stocks that are on your buy list that prompt you to move them to the hold list or move them to, to sell. Most specifically, the one I'm looking at is you had it on your buy list and now it's a hold, and I'm trying to learn what, what kinds of things you look for when you move them around like that. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Suzanne. Well, there is an awful lot of things that I go through to move a stock from my hold list to my buy list. Um, and it is about 60% technical things that I screen the stocks every week on that gives me an idea from a technical perspective and the rest of it is more of a, um, uh, an art form, I'm going to say, in the sense that I make that decision based on how well I know the company and what I believe they're going to do in the future based on not only the technicals, but based on uh, a number of other things. There are so many issues that it's, it's difficult, and it's one of the few things that I do that I've been doing now for uh, um, a, over 25 years that I can't and I, do, I, I don't really share all of it. It's the only piece of intellectual property that I own. I make a joke about it at my town hall meetings. But, um, but when a stock moves from a buy to a hold, it doesn't mean that you sell it. It means that you continue to hold it. When it moves to my buy list, even though a lot hasn't changed when it comes off, like I took a stock, a preferred off my buy list this morning, uh, that, that um, you know, a lot didn't change about it other than the price got a little bit more expensive. But when I do that, it, 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 it means, in, on my buy list, it means you would put new money into that. In other words, you don't have any money invested in that company and you're looking to put money in the stock market, then you would move new money to that. And in other words, you're ready to get in and that would be a stock that would be a good one to begin to get into, to begin to get into the market. When it comes off my buy list, it means you already own it probably, if you've done that, and you continue to hold it. The only exception to that rule is if you already own a stock, whether it's on my buy list or not, and it goes down in value, like I talked about with the gentleman on Chesapeake Gas, he added to it. It's always good to add to something when it gets lower, as long as you can maintain the cash position that you ought to have. So it would take me a long time to go into all the detail, but, but guess what? I'm going to do a little bit of that at our conference, uh, and not to mention you will uh, very likely have a chance to talk with me one-on-one uh, -on -one at that or maybe at a meal as we sit around a table together and we'll talk a little bit about that so you'll have more opportunity to do that.